we are different by design. And I talked about our unique architectural approach inside of Iris being an important differentiator. And I want to give you some examples of why that is. So imagine you're an application developer and you need to build a data-centric, business-critical kind of application. So of course, you've got data sources that you've got to go find. It could be transactions, could be some documents, could be objects, whatever. And you need to get that data into your application space. So you may you have some streaming applications, some ETL processes. You may have some just you know, bulk data movement processes. And once you've got that data into your application space, you've got to you know, land it somewhere. And so depending on the kind of data you have, you may have a document database service or a persistence layer for SQL or an object store. And then once you've got all of that, you want to do something with that data, so you may need to import some analytic engines, maybe some machine learning engines, some uh, generative AI. And wrapping all around that, you want to have performance for your application, so you may add an in-memory cache. And my point is that this application now takes on a whole large body of work to manage different pieces of data. You have to manage multiple services, which is expensive. You've got to buy each of the services. You may have multiple copies of the same data persisted in different parts of the service. And ultimately, if any of this goes down, it, it can be a very fragile kind of architecture. So it's complicated, and it's certainly very, very expensive over time to own an application that's built using this kind of an architecture. Conversely, what Iris offers our application developers is a lot more simplicity with all of the feature function that they require to build their applications. You still have the same sources, and getting that data into Iris is very easy because we've got a native interoperability engine. It's just built in. Nothing special, nothing extra to buy. Once the data gets into Iris, of course, we use the global module, which is what allows us to be multi-model meaning that we can have any kind of data, that we can have the transactions, we can have documents, we can have objects, we can have key value pairs. It doesn't matter. We store the data exactly as we've got it, and then we cast that data for the application the way the application needs to see it, maybe as a set of tables through SQL, maybe as a bunch of data objects for a Python algorithm, and anywhere in between. And we do all of that off of a single individual copy of the data, and since it's all inside of Iris, it's all managed through our high availability and business continuity services. So the application developer really only has to worry about application logic and leave the data management to us. And oh, by the way, our performance is second to none because we've also got the built-in in-memory cache through ECP. So ultimately, quicker time to value, very simple architecture, and ultimately, the best TCO for application developers.